City for his home debut against the club he played for for 13 years. Chelsea's all-time record goal scorer. He's having his name sung by the Chelsea fans as he gets a great cheer from the home support too. It feels a little strange for us watching. How do you think it feels for him? Were he to get the goal, that gets Manchester City something from the game. in meetings of these sides but only once scored for the winning side now Robin van Persie able to sidestep Giroud lovely touch from Valencia Raphael more than ready for it cross wasn't the best but Marlon's made a mess lovely finish Robin van Persie makes his mark immediately he's trying his best to make it a subdued celebration but his United colleagues are having none of it plenty of reasons for them to celebrate Horrible moment for Thomas Vermaelen. Raphael had a real mess of a cross in truth, but nothing compared to what Vermaelen did next. Off balance, didn't connect, Van Persie did and scored. Scores for the third Premier League game in a row. Scores for the tenth time in a Manchester United shirt. Significantly against Arsenal. United won, Arsenal nil. been Robin Van Persie's first. So a quick lesson in what you're supposed to the moment that everybody had been waiting for in the Bayern Munich camp and been dreading in the Borussia Dortmund one. The cross from Thomas Muller finding the old boy Mario Goetze and he doesn't celebrate of course he doesn't but there's a twinkle in his eye as he opens the scoring making it 1-0 and turning the yellow wall into a silent yellow wall. Well taken shot, his second goal of the season, but a more important one he might not have ever scored. Gigu, dentro per Zago, ancora Gigu, Batistuta, destro, e lui!
controversy reigns. Manchester City believe the game should have been halted because of the injury to Edin Dzeko. But Dzeko is on his feet now. Liverpool played on. It's up to the referee to stop it. He clearly didn't think it was necessary. It's a crisp finish. It's 1-1. And tempers are rising. And Edin Dzeko has been cautioned. Iniesta. Levanta Iniesta. La flecha Kappel. Romaric. Dani Alves y gol. 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 Facilitado por Romanich, pero ubicación de goleador para Dani Alves, conscrito en silencio para cumplir con la inexorable regla del ex Dani Alves, Barça 3, en Sevilla 0. Como dijo Miguel, ¿no? Hay error de Romanich, pero qué inteligente lo de Dani Alves. Fíjese cómo va a buscar la pelota, ya lo vio que le va a cabecer hacia atrás. La verdad que como un goleador y una definición estupenda de alguien que no le grita el gol a Sevilla, lo está mirando. Y ya lo fue, lo fue a ver. Recibió la pelota, hace un ratito hablábamos de Dani Alves, ¿no? Que decíamos que no es un lateral que va a tirar centro, sino que va a tratar de definir. Y fíjense qué buen gol hace, ¿no? Qué listo, qué vivo. O sea, después que su festejo sea eso, el silencio, como dice Miguel. Muchísimos efectivos en la zona de área y hemos visto centrar, eh, centrar eh, centro de la banda izquierda hasta que alternar las subidas de los laterales para tener cierto equilibrio está visto que esa, esa consigna no existe pero fíjate el acúmulo de jugadores esa parte de la central sorprende y le gana la posición a Vitolo lógicamente le ha perdido de vista y el remate es bueno y dudo mucho que Alves haya marcado muchos goles de cabeza es un buen gol de Dani Alves es cierto que improbable por sus condiciones y por sus aptitudes verle marcar de cabeza tanto que sube al marcador que adelanta al Barça. to play for here. 